Hi, I'm going to show you how to format your data in tidy format. And this is really important to teach this skill because this is going to serve your students well going forward into college and into the professional world as tidy data is quickly becoming the industry standard for both business and science alike. We are swimming in data. Our world is awash in data. And more than ever before, uh, formatting data is becoming in a valuable skill so that you can analyze data and get insights out of it. That is why we've chosen to use this format uh, to be compatible with Data Classroom. So what tidy data is, is each variable is its own column in the data set, and each column is only one specific variable. Each row is an independent observation or test subject. As you're going down each row, independent observation. Each cell in your spreadsheet is a value, and this can be uh, a categorical or it can be numeric, but each cell is, is filled in with uh, an independent value. So let me show you an example of a, of a messy data set, and um, we'll go ahead and tidy it up. Okay, so here you see a messy data set. Um, it is a, a messy data set because we have more than one variable combined in these columns of plant height. So what we have is here, we actually have height and we have which plant it is, right? That's two variables stuck together in the same column. We have both which plant it is and how tall it is. So that those are two variables stuck together in the same column. So let me show you how to tidy this up. This is what you're gonna to wanna to do with your own data before you upload to Data Classroom. Okay, first I'm gonna grab this column. I'm gonna throw it over here temporarily. Okay, then I'm gonna add a new column for height in centimeters. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and fill that in with these values. These are the heights for plant. A, and I will go ahead and we'll take those out. And these are the heights for plant B. Let me grab those again. These are the heights for plant B. When I grab those, I'm going to put them down here. I'm gonna delete that, okay. And now this, instead of having this be plant A, I'm just going to have this be which plant is this. And um, this is gonna be A, this is going to be A, and I am um, going to drag this down here. So rows one to five, these are all plant A's. This is the day the measurements were taken. This is the corresponding height. So now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of this column with uh, B's. And because these heights for rows seven through 11, these all correspond to plant B. Now day, this is blank, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in, right? Because these are the same. So now I've taken that messy data set and I've made it tidy. Now you can go ahead and uh, upload this Excel or a CSV file directly to Data Classroom and you'll be able to quickly make graphs uh, and do hypothesis testing with your data set in tidy format. And again, I cannot stress enough how important of a skill this is going forward for your students. If they're able to format things in this tidy format, they're going to be able to work with the data set more easily uh, and get more insight. And I know that it might not be your initial inclination to format data this way, but uh, trust me, this is going to make uh, more sense and it's gonna turn your students into high powered uh, data analysts. So uh, with that, happy science and um, hope to talk to you